Welcome to Surface Pro 3 TechReviews.com. I'm Neil, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the multitasking features in Windows 10. And whether you are using just one monitor or two, I want to show you some tips that will really help you be more productive and do what it is you do a whole lot easier. Let's begin. Right away, before I even start showing you how to manipulate the windows, I want to make sure we're all on the same page and I want to go through the settings and give you a brief explanation of how they affect how you multitask. So the first thing I want you to do is go down to your action center and go into all settings or you can just hit the uh, Windows button and press the letter I on your keyboard and that takes you to your settings page and go into system and go into multitasking here are the settings that are going to uh, pretty much apply to what I'll be covering today the first one is arrange windows automatically by dragging them to the sides or corners of the screen and what that really means is as you drag a window over to the side of the screen you'll see a small um, a small gray uh, image of where that window is going to snap to and if you look real closely you can see that on the left hand of my screen on the left side of my screen you could see where it's going to snap to so if I let go of the mouse now you see it snaps it right to there you see that and what that's doing is assisting us in our snap and that's what happens when we leave this on and so through this tutorial I'm gonna be leaving that on and uh, so if yours is is off turn it on for now just so you can um, follow with me as I go through the other steps uh, the second one is um, when I snap more than one window automatically adjust the size of the windows that's pretty self-explanatory and the last one when I snap a window show what I can snap next to it so basically what that means is if I had other apps or programs open at the time that I had snapped this one over on the other side of the screen uh, Windows would show me a, uh, a list of other programs that I had open and if I clicked on one it would automatically pop up here okay so pretty neat right alright so you saw already you saw me do one snap a window using the mouse right and I can take that same uh, window I can drag it over to the right side wait till I see that small little window there it is boom as soon as I let go of the mouse it snaps it right to that you see that you can also do it to the full screen as soon as I touch the top you see it cover the whole screen when I let go it snaps it into full screen if I add another window to this and I go to snap it to the left you see it snaps that one to the left and this was that third setting um, when I snap a window show what I can snap next to it and since I only have this one other program open that's the one if I go ahead and click on it it snaps it right to this automatically pretty helpful right and this goes for um, you could do the same thing if you have a touch screen too you could use these same features just drag your window over and uh, I'll do it here I don't know how much you'll be able to see it on the screen but I'm actually using this by touch and I'm gonna try snapping it to the right there it goes I let go and it snaps right to it so even when you're using it without your mouse you're still able to have those same functions and you see um, just how how useful and how simple this this can be so you see this one at open full screen I'll make it smaller 
by just dragging the title bar again I'm doing this by touch I want to snap it to the left I see the little um, the box pop up I let go and it snaps it and I got both of these side by side pretty neat pretty simple now I want to show you you could do the same thing but using keyboard shortcut and actually I find using the keyboard even easier than touch or the mouse and uh, and it's actually very simple just hold down the Windows key and press the right arrow and it snaps it to the right if you press the if you hold the Windows key and press the left button the left arrow it comes to the middle at first and I press it again it snaps it to the left pretty easy if I press the up arrow while still holding the Windows key it make it puts it into the upper left quadrant and you see by doing that I can actually have four windows on one screen and say I open up another uh, another program I could just hold my Windows button, hit the right arrow. Oh, let me click on it. Okay. There it goes. And it snaps it right to the right side. I can hit the up arrow and it puts it up there on the on that second quadrant and so on. You get the idea. Very easy, very simple. Now let me show you, uh, I'm going to close these out, and I'm going to hook up a second monitor. Because I know even though as handy as that is, um, sometimes we like having a full screen and using a second monitor. And even on that second monitor, we can snap windows the same way. And let me just show you real quick how that looks. So I just turned on my second monitor, which you see over here. I'm going to go ahead plug in the cable and you see Windows picks it up right away and automatically connects it now and by the way if you haven't already I have done a review on this cable a mini display port to HDMI cable that you would need for your Surface Pro 3 or Surface 3 and uh, you could get the same cable from Microsoft or other places and it's actually pretty expensive um, the one I found on Amazon I paid maybe six or seven dollars for it so and you see it does a beautiful job at what I needed to do uh, so if you want to save money uh, and you want to connect your surface to another monitor or even another computer uh, you can definitely save some money by checking online alright so first thing I will do is I'll open up edge and say edge is one of the programs that I want on the bigger monitor I just grab it by the title with the mouse and I drag it over um, no you would not be able to do that with touch just in case you were wondering because once you would get past this screen how do you keep dragging it over to the next unless your other one is a touch screen mine isn't all right so you see that I have it um, I brought it over here and the same trick applies over here if I hit the Windows button and I hit the right arrow you see it snaps it right to the right if I open up uh, let's say Excel and I'll do the same thing I'll bring it over here and I will snap it to the left so I held down the Windows button and I hit the left arrow and you see it snaps it perfectly and you can always go in here and change the size of the windows very easily make it bigger or smaller um, and you can also 
if you wanted divide your second screen into quadrants too you know or you know if you want two on the one side top and bottom and then one uh, taking up the whole second half you could do that too there's multiple ways of doing that but you see it's very simple right and then on your on your regular screen you can have it just like normal you know, so um, you're doing some online research, you need internet access, you can have that on your one, on your second screen, and doing your typing and or note taking on your first screen, whatever you want to do. You know, there's all kind of different options, and I'm just showing you uh, a few just to give you an idea of what you can do using Windows 10 and some of the ways that it makes these things easier. Most people will just have one app on one screen and another app on another screen, and that's perfectly okay too. And uh, you know, and then there's there's also um, using multiple screens even more than just two, uh, which I won't do in this video, but uh, certainly another option. Here is one uh, one little tip. I'm gonna bring this uh, window for edge down a little bit. I'm going to get this Excel one. Matter of fact, let me just close this. And this is another tip in edge that it's not really new, but I just don't think a whole lot of people know about it. And that is if you want to say I want to use this uh, for example, here, we'll do this. I'm using edge over here to watch a video let's say but over on my first screen I want to have edge also open so I can do uh, maybe some regular web browsing or whatever how would you do that well there's a very simple way and to do that open up a new window and grab that second tab or whatever tab it is that you want to use and with your mouse click on it and drag it you see it moving and bring it over to your first screen and let go and you see that it opens up on your another instance of edge and you know say we'll go ahead and maximize it so it takes up the entire screen and now we have edge twice two instances of edge so we can use the uh, we can surf the web using our, and you know, you do the same thing uh, uh, with other browsers too. This isn't something exclusive to Edge, but as for me, the more I use Edge, the more I like it. And this is just another nice feature for multitasking. There's one more multitasking feature of Windows 10 I want to show you. And that is how you can have multiple desktops. You do so by this icon right here that says Task View. If on your taskbar you don't see this icon, go to a blank space on your taskbar and right click it or tap it and hold it and put a check mark next to Show Task View button. And that'll bring your icon back here. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click on it now and when you do so it's going to show you the open apps you have on the top and any desktops that you have on the bottom I've already opened up one or a second one you see and if I click on this new desktop you see it'll add a third I'll go ahead and close that one and just show you with two what I'm doing so on my first desktop here let's say I am working on an Excel spreadsheet and uh, I'm going through and I'm creating a spreadsheet this is what I'm working on here and now let's say on a second on my second desktop let me go back to it click on desktop 2 you notice it's empty now let's say on this one I'm using edge and I am using 
Uh, let me snap that to the right. Or actually, you know what? Let me snap it to the left because I'm right-handed. And I'm using OneNote to take notes off of a webinar that's coming up, right? Or a video that I'm watching, whatever. And what this allows me to do by having two desktops is to go ahead and switch back to what I was doing before. And even though I have only one window open here, you can see that if, uh, you know, for example, I had um, a couple open here already, you know, it, and you know, you don't have to have them cluttered with all kinds of windows. It's basically just set up so you can have a desktop customized for whatever tasks that you're utilizing. Or working on you see and so it's just a handy way of having things set up and not having to close them or have a bunch of windows on top of each other but to have them organized by desktop and uh, it you know it's a useful feature um, I don't know how many people will use it uh, you know for me uh, truthfully I haven't used it all that often but I do like the fact that it's there, and I know for some people, maybe they um, have that, uh, uh, this will come into real use for them, and maybe they don't know it's there. Well, now you do, and so it just depends on how you work with your computer, and it's just another option from Windows, and uh, just how customizable that they have made Windows 10. Well, that concludes another tutorial on Windows 10. And in this one, in this lesson, we learned about some multitasking tips. Don't forget to check out Surface Pro 3 TechReviews.com for more reviews on different accessories for the Surface Pro 3, as well as more Windows 10 tips and digging beneath the surface. Don't forget to comment below. Uh, if you have any questions that I haven't answered or on how these multitasking tips have helped you and maybe you can give some good ideas to other people that will help them. I thank you for watching and thank you for sharing. Scribe to receive the latest tips and reviews from SurfacePro3TechReviews.com Thank you again for watching.